This is the band room. Let me take it. Oh, come on in. Bob Reynolds. Bob, say hello to you, Stream. Hi, you Stream. Who's Don't you play a little careless whisper. That's for special occasions only. Man. This is not a special occasion. Um, Showing a full-on backstage tour. Um, Look, you've got the metronome. I don't, I don't have my white gloves. <laughs> <laughs> you know that I can't go down without the gloves. David and Sean. Say hello to Ustream. Hi, hello, Ustream. Ustream. It's great to meet you. You look so cute. I heard that Get out of my you light. were cute, but I didn't think you were so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> where, where am I supposed to stand? Just <laughs> 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 oh, oh, computer on here. Brian Lips. Trumpet player, latest addition to the band. Yeah. Although Bob is technically an addition. I'm the newest old member. He's the newest old member, and, he, and <laughs> Brian is the newest new member. Cheerio. And uh, we got a sound check to do soon, don't we? Yeah. Oh, let's go to front of house first. Is Chad out there? Uh, he's actually right here. Okay. Well, this is monitor land. I can take you to monitor land. This is where uh, everything that we hear on stage as the musicians gets, uh, gets teched out and, 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 and tweaked as we go. These are all the packs for uh, the musicians. And then whenever you see the uh, plastic things hanging out, one out or both out, or people pressing that, that's uh, the in-ear monitor that's molded to your ears. And, and this is the pack that's sort of like a radio that receives it. And um, it's the trans big antennas for it. So the set list, this is the Virginia Beach set list, and these are all the notes that uh, yeah. monitor engineer maestro Bill Chrysler uses to remember everything. Plus there's a lot of uh, saved settings for each song. So there's scene files and you can go to it and it comes up for what each person wants. It's already saved. Uh, that's pretty that's pretty right, isn't it? Very accurate. Okay, yes. good. It's Bill Chrysler. Say hello to you, Stream. Um, it's actually a really fun place to watch a show from. Um, you don't get to hear as much, but it's kind of a really fun way to watch everybody interact. And, and the thing about Bill is so great is that all he always has his eye on me. So if I turn around, if you ever see me doing this, like, like a, it's vocal up, and if I ever go like this, it's guitar up. We have all these little codes and stuff, and he's always watching. He's like, uh, he's my Burgess Meredith, and I am his Rocky. Technically, be he'd either be my Burgess Meredith and I'm his Sylvester Stallone, or he's my Mickey and I'm his Rocky. I don't like mixing up character names with actor names. So now we'll take you off uh, stage left. Watch a step. Watch a step. You stream. And uh, we'll see where Chad is. And if he's not there, then then I'll end up. Actually, when I went to see my first show ever, I believe I was sitting probably somewhere right here. Probably right there. Well, you can sit. My local coconuts, right around here. And my friend said, you're going to be playing Jones Beach one day. And I went, ah, let's just go to McDonald's. just a stage. That's all I'm going to say right now. So this is a stage suitable for one tall man to play music later on in the night. This is, um, yeah, it looks like it's the jungle back here. This is where front of house engineer Chad mixes the whole show by. He communicates his microphone to me in my ears. I can talk to him. He can talk to the monitor engineer. So everybody's always in uh, in communication. Before the iPad, by the way, there were these incredible, um, what's the word for it, spectral analyzer? There were spectral analyzers. And so these actually come off of the Velcro. They've been around for the last five, six years. And they can move around the venue from any vantage point and tune the PA. So when you get here and it sounds really great, it's more because the PA is tuned up by these uh, all this equipment. 
This is what we use to record all the shows. This is my recorder so I can listen back to shows and just pop out the compact flash recorder. Um, I love this. It just that's important calls are made on that thing. You don't small talk on that phone, I can tell. And, um, yeah, so all right. When the phone call when a phone call comes in, it's gonna be hard to see that. Wait a minute, can I call Bill and have him call me? Hey Bill, are you there? Hey audio, do you want to do call kind of help? Show the light. I'll take take a look at the light. See if you can put It's not going, is it? You can see it. Well, somebody fashioned the battle studies, the heartbreak warfare part. There, there it is. There you go. How about that? That is... That is engineering at its finest. Ladies and gents. Well, so... I guess I leave it to you to decide whether or not the backstage really is all that exciting got some fun elements to it and everyone gets along and everybody is equal and um, it's just fun it's fun especially on a summer tour we're having a blast playing on stage having a car, man. I just took in the front of house oh you did I showed him the phone you didn't change the anything did you? I didn't change a thing you didn't touch anything not a thing <laughs> remember Tony you stream except the master yeah, volume everybody doing? Yeah, yeah, I just, the master volume just everything to do with volume. my channel <laughs> Put some reverb on my top bag. <laughs> Turn up the old God setting. Yeah. yeah, that's beautiful. Put it on, uh, what's that, world domination mode? That's right. Are we ready this one controls the... Uh, <laughs> Can we get the band, keep all the band in for sound check? Hey, Susan. We're going to sound check now. So it happens the same way I walk on the stage. Pack is ready. Put it on about 12 o'clock. Put myself in. Got my monitors here. And then I grab a guitar. I'll show you the guitar. Oh, it's in here. Yeah. Strat I play on Waiting on the World to Change. Monterey Strat. Had the neck redone with the Brazilian rosewood fretboard. Had the back sanded down so it doesn't have any uh, gloss on it. I like guitars that have the back sanded down like that. That's a production model, signature yeah. model, but uh, well, I had the custom out. shop. You good? Exactly. The, uh... Oh, did we go out for a second? Just for a second. Yeah, yeah. Well, messing his work all up. What else is here that's cool? This is a Moog guitar. It's sort of like a guitar synth in a way. It's like. It, constantly sustaining pickups that just keep the strings ringing. So I use this on War of My Life, or used to. I used it on the record and on Assassin. So all those sort of groovy, long, sort of ethnic sounding um, guitar parts are from that guitar. This is the guitar I play on that hill on the Where the Light is uh, DVD, playing the L5, 1977 L5. And uh, it's gorgeous, and I love it. And, uh, of course, you got the signature model acoustics. That is the new production model black one guitar. So the one that is a complete replica of my guitar there's 83 of them, 
and and they're a little pricey for some people, for a lot of people. But that's I looked into it, and that's what it took to really do it correctly. And uh, for the price of a guitar off, you know, a, a good thank you, a good uh, American made guitar at Guitar Center. You can get the one where you can beat it up yourself. So this is exactly also to spec, but brand new. So this sort of uh, presupposes what would have happened had the other guitar not been beat up so badly. It would have stayed like this had it never left a closet. So 